One Warner Robins man says he played his own role in the invasion of Normandy. 75 years ago, he worked around the clock, helping build gliders in preparation for that surprise landing. Abigasaurus spoke to him about his role in history. This picture looks different than the photos George Mayo took while he was serving in World War II. We had a lot of people killed during World War II, and people don't realize how, how big the battles were. One of the biggest battles on the beaches of Normandy, a battle fought by water, earth, and air. We worked all night and all day the next day. We didn't sleep. Oh, no. no, we worked. We worked around the clock. Mayo says he helped fix and build dozens of gliders before the Allies took to the beaches. You worked till, till you could and you could. This is a replica of one of those gliders. It's made of mostly wood and canvas, but has no engine. So they're easy to crash. During D-Day, about 600 gliders like this one were dropped in Normandy. 15% of those gliders crashed on landing, injuring many soldiers. The D-Day Center says if it were not for the courage and skill of the British and American glider pilots that day, the invasion may have taken a different turn. We lost a lot of good men, and they were the cream of the crop, you might say, because a lot of them were young men that were just right out of college. 75 years later, at 95 years old, he still shares his war stories, and people gather around to listen. When, a, when you ask a military man, what did he do when he was in the military? He just, he, he did exactly what they told him to do. In Warner Robins, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Now, the gliders were used to attack the backside of the German forces in Normandy, along with delivering soldiers and equipment to the battlefield.